All right, at number four here on the top 14 underrated holiday specials and movies is Sonic Christmas Blast. Now I know what's going through your head. You're thinking, Brian, if you're such a huge Sonic fan, why ain't it number one? Well, because, well, let's just say it is a good holiday special, but you know it's not as good to rank up on at number one. But anyway, Sonic Christmas Blast is actually pretty good, and it's got a little of a backstory. Um, it's a, it was actually it was like, it was gonna be actually entitled Sonic Extreme an extremely Sonic's extremely Christmas blast or something like that I don't know or an extremely Christmas or ext I don't know what the name was originally but it went but I don't know what the original name was title was gonna be but they went with Sonic Christmas blast and Sonic Christmas blast in a way is animated almost in the same animation, same style as Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, but it's actually a mixture of both shows. I'm not lying. It's a mixture of Adventures and Satayam. What do I mean by that? Well, there are some references, like the city. In in the Christmas special, it's known as Robotropolis, but in the Satayam series, we know it as Robotropolis. There's a reference there, sort of. And then you got the swap bot. Now we know in Satyam the swap bot's a lot more menacing. In the Christmas one, when the called swap bots are not, they just look like big old bots with eyeballs and everything. And then of course there's the biggest, strongest reference out of it: a scene between with a scene at the beginning of the film, about f about <coughs> about a couple of minutes into the special, we have a scene in with Sonic and Princess Sally. I'm not joking. If you've not seen this, you got to see it cuz I'm not joking here. It's Sonic and Princess Sally. But Sally, even though she's designed her in her Satyam design, the way the one we know, she's actually colored in her original color scheme of pink of her first original color scheme, which was pink fur and reddish uh, hair. But it's the Satyam design. And no, she doesn't have no speaking lines except for a little uh, mm. at the end of of the special. But basically, what the basically the plot of the special is that Santa has announced his retirement, or has he? And in his place, he has decided to. And in his place, he has named Robotnik the new Santa Claus. And Robotnik's first rule is he's going to change things around, and instead of being a traditional Santa and going out and giving gifts to everybody and to the kids that have been good he decides that things are going to change and they're going to give gifts to him uh, so what takes place is as Sonic is along so what takes place is Sonic along with Tails hears about this while they're trying to find a gift for Sally and Sonic and Tails go and you know, try go and free. They have to go up to the North Pole, if you will, and free uh, Santa. And Santa tells Sonic that the only way they can save Christmas is if they could find a way to do super speed. And that's when Santa ironically notices the ring. I mean, notices the ring that Sally gave Sonic. You know, one year ago, in basically doing had given Sonic the Christmas. You know, in a year before. And it's ironic that this s ring is actually a ring that enables you to have super speed if you pass a few tests, which Sonic does. So in the end, basically, Sonic does pass the test, and he does bring Christmas to the whole world, does defeat and prevent Robotnik from basically destroying Christmas, uh, does deliver his Christmas gifts that he promised for Sally to her. Well, actually, they promise no gifts, but to Sonic it's a... well basically they promise no gifts and all that no presents, but in Sonic's mind it's Sally's way of saying, yes, I want presents so he delivers some to her and then kisses her on the forehead with mistletoe and uh, overall very it's a very enjoyable Christmas special I mean, I'll give it that and and it did debut on its original debut was on the USA Network, and you can find out more about that on my uh, videos that I did on my retrospective.
Uh, overall, it's a good, it's a good uh, special. I suggest you check it out. It's on DVD. It's on VHS. And if we're lucky enough, it'll be on Disney XD or Disney Channel, or maybe ABC Family this year for the holidays. But if not, check it out on DVD. You'll enjoy it. And that's all I have to say. At Sonic Christmas Blast being number four on the top 14 underrated Christmas holiday, I mean, uh, hol holiday specials and movies. Sonic Christmas Blast at number four.